Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Pankapu. I'm not sure how you would say that, guys and gals, but I'm going to go with Pankapu. And it is by Two Kind Studios and Plugin Digital. It releases today, September 21st, 2016. You can grab it for 10% off. You can also grab the chapters 1 and 2 or parts 1 and 2 or whatever it is uh, for 10% off. And it lasts up until September 28th, around 1 p.m. Eastern Time. That being said, what is it? I believe it's a pla- I haven't actually played it yet, but I had it sent to me in my mail, and I'm ready to check it out. So we're gonna go, and we're gonna hop in, and we're gonna play. I might absolutely love this game, I don't know. And I'll probably end up playing it on my own, if that's the case. We'll see. Who's to say? Who's to say what's gonna happen? Jaharel, are you alright? Jaharel, Jaharel, alright. It's nothing, sweetheart. You must have had a bad dream because of the storm. Come here. When I was little, my grandmother would often tell me a special story that would chase the nightmares away. Cool. This story takes place in the world of dreams, known as Omni. All the kingdom's inhabitants lived in harmony, filling the world with hope. Alas, one fateful day, a horde of creatures crossed through the veil, which separates this world from the nightmare world. See, they can't just let you have a peaceful, happy time. No, always gotta be with the negative, evil creatures coming to eat your face. It's just, it's a thing. It's a, it's a recurring theme in most games, you see. These Hyanagi invaded Omnia, spreading their foul corruption wherever they went. The world of dreams was threatened, and with it, the hope all had once known was in danger of disappearing forever. Luckily, Ikatomi, the hymn of dreams, decided there was still time for him to act. Using his immense powers, he concentrated all the dream matter that was left in Omnia. and birthed a guardian capable of defeating the Hyanagi invasion. Sweet. We're naked. Oh my god, put some clothes on, man. Jeez, there we go. Surprise! His name was... Pankapu. Pankapu. Alright, I can, I can go with that. Bless you? Uh, hello, Pankapu. I am Ikotomi, the Hymn of Dreams, weaver of humanity's dreams, and your creator, incidentally. I agree. The veil separating the dream, or dreams from nightmares has been torn, and the Hyanagis, sure I'm butchering stuff, guys, are using this to slip into our kingdom and lay waste to our precious land. Your first mission as keeper is therefore to seek him out and aid him as best you can. Equal term. Oop, did I double tap a button? Some, some equal terms of the Hyan Nagus you encounter on the way. Something your bravery. It seems like it's double pressing my button there. I feel like I skipped some dialogue. I don't know why. Okay, well, ooh, we got a shield and all sorts. Okay, cool. I, I can live with this. This is pretty neat. Okay, I'm using the controller as I'm sure you guys can hear me going through all the buttons there. Alright. So yeah, if I like this game, I will definitely be playing this on my own, but um... I don't think I'm gonna do a first look mini-series. I kind of want to, but at the same time... Oh, this is just right back to the tree place. But at the same time, I think I'm gonna let you guys actually... You know, see a, 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 tin, a hint or a tease of the game, and then you guys are gonna want to go and like grab it for yourselves. Sometimes it's better just to give a taste than to actually play through a big portion of it. So jump and to press these. Yes, press the A to attack. Use these. Yes, I will attack you with my sword. That looks like stuff I don't want to touch. Hold down A to jump longer, huh? Okay. 
Can we do a jump attack? Is that a thing? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Oh gosh, we got hit. My timing was not impeccable. Well, we're doing okay. So far, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. We got healed there for my bad play. To block, use this. Eh, eh, eh. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I tried to kill that guy. Didn't work. Ooh, that must be like a checkpoint. I like it. Like I got hit more than once. Oops. That was awkward. I kind of missed that jump there. It was a little bit embarrassing, not gonna lie. My knee itches. I'm gonna have to scratch that. That is a claw, and that does not look like something I want to play with. Get out of here, you filthy monster! I'm not edible! You look kind of edible. I Think about blocking and using the bee, little warrior. Me. Like I say, so far I'm not overwhelmed by his presence, but I'm sure it'll get a lot more difficult as we go. Hey, what are you doing stealing my Hyanyagi? As you may have seen, I had the situation perfectly in hand. I didn't need your help at all, but oh well, thanks anyway. Uh, hey, wait, wait, where are you going? Ah, it skipped it again. Well, that's this as well. I know Omnia, like the back of my hand, well, leg. Can I? Oh gosh, I skipped all of it. I was trying to back up in the, the chat. Huh. It's weird. I don't know why it was skipping, guys. I'm sorry. So you're going to have to hopefully be able to pause and read some of that. It seems like it's double skipping some of the lines when I'm just single pressing a button. I don't know why. It could... I don't think it's my controller because I haven't had this issue with anything else unless it's a new issue. Oops. Oh, I can walk through- oh, I'm like, I can just casually walk through this? Really? That's a thing? Apparently it is not a thing. Oh, I failed so epically there. That was not cool. I'm just gonna fail repeatedly. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. If not, well, so be with it. You can be with the same people that I just skipped all the uh, dialogue with, too. That are gonna wanna lynch and kill me. We have an exceptionally wide stance, too. Walk around like we just got off a horse. Onward! We. See that? Mad skills all up in a mad abundance. Oops. One, two, three, one. Ha! Get wrecked! Okay, we survived that. I guess we go here now. Cool. Two and three. One, two. One, two. That is a large blob. I imagine when he dies, yeah, babies are gonna come out. As I expected. Cannot jump up there yet. Maybe not ever, in fact, but we'll see soon enough, I suppose. Yes, prepare to die in a horrible pain and suffering type situation. It's going to be glorious. Oh. I think he's going to vomit. Oh, for the love of mudgeons, the way is blocked. By Ikatomi, we are really unlucky. See that young shoot there? That's a bud which, once it matures, will create a root that will get us to the other side in no time. If only we were in a magical world, we could find something to make it grow. Of course! A Furman's Tear, that's what we need. With this, we'll definitely be able to get across in no time, but where do we get it? Alright, I don't have to use A to advance it, I can use my bumper buttons on my controller. And that's gonna be okay then, I think. Huh. Well, that looks bad. But we'll take it, I guess. Can I drop down? Oh, I don't have to. It's just, Okay, cool. Left uh, analog stick up to get into this place. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sub jam, blobby. Why am I turning the other way? Hmm. Please try not to impale my head. I rather enjoy my head being unimpaled at any given time. 
No. You do not get to attack me. I am sorry to tell you these, but I do not attack well with others. Alright. Straight on down. What do we have here? Oh gosh, there's spikes right in front of me. Awkward. Painful. And of course, unsatisfying. Yep, it truly is. Huh. Neat. What a, what a luck. What luck? Uh, a, a, a Ferem's tear? A Ferem's tear? Aren't you just dazzled by so much beauty, uh, Pankapu? It's just like Ikotomi uh, Ferem is a him, but her domain is that of uh, movement and mutation. It's in her nature to move around ceaselessly, which means she's rarely seen. Legend says that it's because she's chasing after her love, Sadhil, who is constantly running away from her. Creepy. Despairing of ever catching up with Sahil, Ferrum occasionally sheds a tear as she goes. They say that these tears are imbued with the powers of the him that they came from. So, with a single tear, it would be possible to mutate almost anything. Change a bud into a root, for instance. We're so lucky to have found one, right? Let's go back to the bud and see if, it, if the legend is indeed true. I've just found a Ferrum's tear. Wow. And I just found something else, too. Free cheese doodles for all! Not really. Ah, darn it. My timing was just a little bit off. And then severely off. Alright, let's just keep getting wrecked by everything that we come across, shall we? I don't like the super zoomed in area that we're in right now. It bothers me greatly. Alright, it bothers me slightly. I may have overstated how much it actually bothers me. All right, now we're on the lower section. We can come down here and beat up this guy because why not? It'll make us feel better. Unfortunately, we don't seem to gain any experience. Also, we're somehow fully healed. Well, we were until I got hit. Say so somehow we were fully healed as well, which was weird considering we just kind of did get wrecked a little bit there. Ah, that's why it was the uh, it was the checkpoint that fully well healed us. Well, it's a definitely an interesting, unique art style. Very Following colorful. Following his new friend's advice, Pankapu poured Ferrum's tear on the Ferrum. bud. Imagine his surprise when the bud began to twist and grow, reaching a staggering height. She hadn't lied. Coming across this magic spider had been a stroke of good fortune. Cool. Good fortune for all. And for all, a way up, I guess. Alright. I will take to the top and... Oh! You have found a Lutonite fragment. This mystical artifact is a vessel containing life force. By collecting together four of them, you can make a complete Lutonite, allowing uh, Pankapu to increase his maximum overall HP. Sweet. I am a fan of that. Oh, you got to love the spikes. Well, maybe not, but I, I guess. Yeah. Where is this going to take me? Of course, my timing is impeccable as always. Oh my gosh, I. Stop swinging the wrong direction, first off. Secondly, stop standing in things that kill you. Oh, that was not good. There's no double jump. Or, in my case, even a single jump because I just fail at every kind of jumping. Alright, we did that, and then we landed down here so we could potentially die, but we did not because we're amazing. Because Panakamkabu is uh, my boy, Pankapu. Oh gosh, oh the timing, oh the timing is so bad. But they give me enough healing and health that I can just fail epically on my way through. And it's fine, and nobody cares that I'm a terrible human person. Nope, not gonna let me jump up there. And look at that, fully healed again. Wee hoo! Ah. Too slow with my shielding. It's really the initial attack that you only have to worry about. All the rest, not so bad. Well, looks like I can go left here. Nope, this wants me to go right. Alright, fine. We'll play through this level, and then I think that's gonna do it for a Pankapu. And we'll see where that takes us. Here we are in the Verdant Forest. We just need to cross it to get to Ohiti's house. Like that will do it for this first look. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'm definitely having fun with it. I think it's a quite lovely game. Unique art style. Very colorful. You don't see that very often. Also a little bit creepy. I'm not going to lie. It is a little creepy at times. 
but it's very fun. It, it feels good. Uh, the controls are a little bit... Uh, they're a little bit more simple, I want to say, than some of the games I've been playing lately, and I think that's part of my problem. I'm used to games being way, way, way quicker than this one is currently. Not that that's a bad thing, my dear. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's bad that it's not super fast and make you want to, you know, never blink while you're playing, but it definitely, uh... It's a, di it's a different pacing than what I'm used to as of late. I hope this thing doesn't, like, eventually just, like, fall and it's like, I don't like you, you make me sad that I'm going to kill you, yes. No? Alright, it's fine. Aha! I found a secret hidden... Uh, nothing, apparently. Is there a way to jump or drop down or something? Nope, okay. Just a thing that's there. Can you hear her weeping, Pan Pankapu? Let's go and check it out. I can hear her weeping. She looks sad. Oh, it's Ohiti. What's going on? What are you doing so far from your place? <laughs> Is that you, Chi? What are you doing here? The Hyanagis. They're destroying everything. My house, my Mujin friends. There's nothing left. <laughs> so, I left. But they're everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Poor Ohiti. But look, here's Pankapu. He's a dream keeper. He was sent by Ikatomi, especially to save you. Save me? There's nothing left to save. The Khyanachis took everything. My friends, the Mudjins, have disappeared. What's the good of helping me if I end up on my own? It's useless. It's too late. It's hopeless. Without my Mudjins, I'll never be happy again. Leave me alone with my sadness. Just go. Okay. You convinced me. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you're going to talk to me. Poor Ojiti. He's not at his... Oh, it's a guy. Okay. It, it's He's not at his best. He's usually so happy and full of beans. Beans? What? Beans? If only we could uh, manage to find his mudgeon friends, he would get his hope back and we and he would let us help him. You don't know what mudgeons are. Hmm. I forgot you're new here. Mudgeons are spirits that you find all over Omnia. Legend says that they grew out of the hope of the inhabitants from another world. That would explain their happiness and their, their eternally carefree attitude. However, they are surrounded by a special magic that makes them invisible to most people. You, for example, still can't see them. But never fear, Pan Kapu. Chi won't be beaten by the impossible. Nuh uh. There's an item I know of which should solve our problem Mio's a shard. I know where we can get a hold of one. On the other hand, I'm warning you, you'll need to climb. That's right at. As if you can get your hands on the shard, everything that was invisible will become visible to you. You should be able to go looking for the missing, missing mudgeons. We can find at least one. I'm sure Ohiti will get his hope back and he'll let us help him. There's no time to waste. Let's get going, Dreamkeeper. I hit A there and I think I skipped an extra... An extra... I don't know. Storyline chat thingy there, which sucked. It was not my plan. Well, that should have been easy. We just found it right here. The giant crystal of doom. Really, I can't... Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to go on the high ground here. Oh, that didn't want to have anything to do with me. You guys are terrible human people. Not really, you're just weird creatures that shoot things at me. But I, ouch, I'm not a fan of. Thank you for smacking me in the face. Apparently, we cannot block in midair. Now you know I'm going to have to go back and see if there's something over there. Like, you know that's just a thing that has to happen, right? Oh, no. Oh, so we literally can't do anything. Okay. Well, I wasted a little bit of extra health. It's totally fine. Maybe. Or we're going to die a horrible death. Oh, we're not done yet, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like it would be bad for me just to, like, casually stop here along the way. i got a little bit more time. I guess I can go for one more little thing. See if we can at least find the next part of uh, our mission here. Kill off some more black slime ooze sludge thingies and then uh, be about our business. Be on our way. I think that will be just fine. I totally missed my jump there. Let's see if we can't jump up a bit higher. A bit higher still. Oh, these guys look pleasant. Oh, they're easy enough to kill. That's, that's something. Killing slimes! Killing! Slimes. It's killing time with the. No, we're not gonna sing. We're definitely not gonna sling, sling some songs out because we're songstresses. 
Because we're not. Mostly because that's like a female uh, connotation. And last I checked, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure I am a male. And a fully healthy and healed male of no! Of not doom. Well, that was painful and unsatisfying. Can we not do that again? Alright, landing, 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 doing work, chopping you to bits. Still managed to get hit by spikes, and I don't know what else, apparently, because I'm terrible at doing things properly. Well, I'm really bad at judging exactly how far away I have to be to attack. Like, that's two or three attacks in a row that I thought I was far enough away from, but I was most assuredly not. Doesn't seem like there's any reason to get up there except the fact that we have to. Wonderful. It does please me greatly to know that I can just continue to fail at every single thing that I am doing right here. Alright, at least he's dead. Now all I have to do is not get myself murdered by spikes, and then I'll be pretty happy. Spikes, go away. And back to full health. Yay! Bad Bumpy is allowed to be bad, folks. Bad Bumpy is allowed to be bad. Oh, I wanted to avoid that. Alright, let me continue my jumping ways. Ha! Does this leave? Hello? Oh! Well, that was totally not the way we should have gone. Absolutely, 100%, totally not the right way. It's fine. Felt pretty good about finding the wrong way to go, and you, of course, didn't go up like I expected you to, because you're a noob. Come on. Ugh. I hate you. I hate you all. Alright. Going to freak out all of you considerably nasty creatures. Just avoid a lot of the, the dangers. I mean, we don't really have to fight most of them. Just avoid and enjoy. Ow, thank you. Ow, that hurt as well. Not pleasant. And we made it over. And there's a crystalline platform. Oh, oh, I'm afraid that this is going to be bad. Be careful. I didn't get to read in time, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, wow. Ah, ouch. Looks like your armor was indeed too heavy. Cool. Or terrible, depending, again, how you look at things. It sounds like they immediately uh, collapse on you. That's okay. Hmm. There we are. Now we're getting the hang of it. Yep, no big deal. No problem whatsoever. Ow, thank you guy for smacking me in the face. Really appreciated that. And by really appreciated that, not cool, man. Not cool. I have to continue to jump. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. You're gonna need to do something a little bit more amazing if you want a good old, uh, a good oh, dang. Which, of course, I did want or did not. Uh, ooh. Shiny platform. So, if you guys are looking for uh, an exciting uh, action platformer where you get to do murder, death, killing in a unique and interesting setting, I definitely recommend Pankapu. It is, uh, well, everything I just said, pretty swanky, right? It is also pretty swanky. Mio doesn't do things by halves. We're talking about the mirror him who reigns at the very top of Omnia. Nobody knows exactly what he does, we just know that his power is so great that some places like this one are imbued with his power. Take this Mio shard and let its power wash over you. Thanks to this, you should now be able to detect the presence of mudgeons around you. You've just found a Mio shard. Cool. You're in luck, look over there, a mudgeon. You've found a mudgeon. These little creatures are Ohiti's best friends and the bringers of hope. When the Hianagis appeared, they were scattered across Omnia. Help them by finding them throughout the different levels you explore. There are 100 mudgeons per chapter, and for every 25, Pankapu gets a Lutonite fragment. Legend says when you collect them all, hope will be reborn in Omnia. Well done, Pankapu. Let's go back and see Ohiti now. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this first look. Like I said, it's quite interesting. I like it. It's got a really cool art style. I like the sound effects. I like that it's not a super over-the-top, real fast-paced game. Uh, a lot of uh, platformers are really, 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 really fast. And actually, a lot of the things I've been playing lately have been quicker, so I feel like I've done really poorly actually moving around and doing stuff in this game. But it's a forgiving game and has many different checkpoints and ways of healing yourself. It's a good game. Definitely worth checking out, guys and gals. And I'll have all the information down below in the description of the video for links to where to get the game, information on the developer, information on the game itself. I mean, just links, guys, websites and stuff like that. And if you guys enjoyed this first look, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys with my very next first look. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.